hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a continuation of the first part i did where guests were sharing the icks they have for guys and part two this today's video is part two of it like i told you guys in part one where we saw the list of meg where meg shared her list of icks she has for guys that she has dated mind you these are from the list her list is from her experience with guys so far so this is a continuation and like i said this whole video is strictly for meg that's to tell you how long her list is her list are so long that she's divided them into four so you can imagine it's quite interesting when i tell her to make a separate video for her because she deserves it so let's continue and if you want to see her part the her first list you should check out the part one of this video i'll try and link it somewhere if i remember i'll link I'll link that I will link it in the comment section or in the description box because it's worthy to listen to. Let's start this one. Welcome to part two of my ick list. I have been compiling a list throughout the course of my dating uh, that reflects things that men have done that have given me the ugh. Um, in my last video, there are a lot of men fighting. They are uh, very angry about some of the things that I'm saying, but I'm just going to keep it rolling because why not? All right, so going straight from where we left off. Um, thinking going to get sushi means sushi rolls. The next part means... Um, ordering tempura rolls or fried rolls that's not sushi um that's like kindergarten sushi i do not want to go and get a california roll somewhere i don't want to eat with you whenever you're ordering a california roll that goes back to the same thing as ordering a steak something other than uh medium rare or rare uh, i think you're uncultured if you do that and so i, I think that that's weird so that's just one of my things on my clip not eating sweets. I want someone who will eat sweets with me. I, I think that it's weird that someone may restrict their diet so much that it may make me feel uncomfortable as well. So don't want to be with someone who does that. Next thing, men who try to split the bill on the first date that they ask you to go on. Men you should be paying throughout the courting process. I understand like I'm going to pick up some bills later down the road. Um, but during the courting process, men should be paying for things. I'm, I'm old school with that. And if a man asked me to split the bill, it would literally make me feel sick to my stomach. Not liking oysters. I don't know why I'm so hyped up on food. Some guy must have just been like, nope, I'm not going to eat those. Um, I do think that that's uncultured. And that's something that I want to do whenever I go on a date. So, yeah. Uh, keep going. Never played a competitive sport. I feel very strongly about this. Um, if you have not had some type of competitiveness in your life, um, you were not pushed into organized sports, uh, I truly think that there might be something wrong with you. So I, I don't want to be with someone who hasn't played some type of competitive sport in their time. Next on the list, bad grammar. No one wants to be with someone who can't speak properly. I'm probably not speaking properly right now because I'm on camera and I know that you guys are going to rip me apart for this. But um, yeah, I want someone with good grammar. Uh, you don't have to text me perfectly. You don't have to put punctuation in your text messages. It's nothing like that. I just need you to know the difference in there, there, and there. Mm -hmm. On the subject of grammar in your vocabulary, if the word bet exists, if you say bet after I say, hey, let's go do something, bet, nope, not going to work not going to work all right next on the list not spending the extra four dollars for a comfort uber if you and i are riding in an uber together spend the extra four dollars keep me out of some like nasty little uber car something like that i actually prefer black um i think that we should be riding around in a black car if you are trying to impress me out on a first date you should be impressing me by getting a nice car do not make me ride in some toyota camry that smells like bo or cigarettes i i, I don't want that you should be trying to impress me. I spent a lot of time getting ready trying to impress you. Spend the extra $4. My next stick is going to be ordering a straw. If I'm sitting with you at dinner and you order a straw and I have to watch you do this. Nope, not going to work. That gave me the ick. I'm done. I'm done right there. Samsung phones are green text messages. It's 2023. Get with the times. I'm probably going to want to FaceTime you before the date. And if you don't have FaceTime, that's going to be a little weird for me. I don't even know how the green text message people FaceTime each other. But yeah, that's that's that. Next, sister only men. I really prefer to some if someone has a brother. Sister only men are different. They are bullied by their sisters. They have to make sure that they bring home the absolute perfect person and they are scared of their sisters. I kind of want someone to have a brother. People with older sisters and only older sisters are even worse. Those men, they're broken. They, they need to go to therapy just because of their sisters. Um, we're going to have to go to part three. This is getting really long. 
it's apparent to me that meg does not have an idea how samsung phone calls <laughs> does can somebody please help me tell this lady how much the samsung ultra 24 is in fact even even if it's not just that one you i don't know how people just equate android phone to poverty i don't even understand that mindset to me that way of thinking connotes that you there's something wrong with you you are not exposed you are you are you know you are what's the word i'm looking for oh oh my english will not english will not feel me well you guys get my point she's talking about oh she does not know how people do that get with the times hey god do oh I, well i see basically what she's saying in ss please don't exist or let me just create a kind of man i want i think maybe i will check to see if she has a list of the kind of man she wants because i, I genuinely want to see what her list is like oh okay. welcome back part three we are here um, after two videos of making the male population really, really mad with my ICLIS. Um, I think we just keep going exactly where we left off. So uh, the next thing on the list here, following women who do not follow him back on social media. That is probably the biggest thing on my ICLIS here. If a man, I go and look at his social media, he is following all of these Instagram models, then going and liking their photos and interacting with them, but they don't follow him back. Are you a fan? What are you doing? There's nothing more disgusting to me than a man who I am seeing out in the world chasing other women. Why would I want something that anyone else can have? No, thank you. Next on the list, airport etiquette. Um, following that, they need to have at least TSA pre-check. I um, don't want to travel with someone who is not well-traveled, number one. Number two, I do not want you slowing me down in the process of me traveling. Number three, if I see you have to take your shoes off in the airport and have to walk around in your little socks and take out your laptop and all of that, that's going to really just freak me out a little bit. I don't love that. So at least have TSA pre-check. It makes everyone's lives easier. Don't inconvenience anyone. Next thing on my ick list, wrinkle clothing. I took hours to get ready to go on this date with you. I had to do my makeup, I had to do my hair, I moisturized things, I made sure things weren't hairy, I, I, I did everything. I took good care of myself. If you can't unwrinkle your clothes, that shows how much respect you have for me, period. Back again with cars on social media, except this time he has photos of other people's cars on social media. You guys know who I'm talking about. When that guy goes on that one trip to Italy and he sees a Ferrari standing on the side of the road and he goes and takes a picture like this. No, that's not your car. Don't post a photo of that. That's, that's not something that you own. I don't know why you're flexing on someone else's car. To me, that's, that's very tacky and... Ugh. Next on the ick list, we have no face wash. I need a man who's taking care of himself. He needs to wash his face, moisturize his face, needs to be using sunscreen. I need you to take care of yourself. If I'm taking care of myself, you need to take care of yourself. With that being said, if I'm going to come to your house at some point, I'm going to need face wash. So why not have it yourself? Makes life a lot easier on all of us. Next on the list, has LED lights in home that were not professionally installed? You guys know what I'm talking about. It's like a younger guy thing. They are taking those little LED lights and like surrounding their crown molding area or like under their bars and they're like taking this little like cheap remote and turning it on. I don't like that. Like get some real lights in your house. That's that's not proper and I don't want to sit around in blue lights anyway. Here we go. Next one less. Has a girl best friend. Something about that I don't love. Um... I do think girls and boys can be friends, but the girl best friend who just keeps lingering around and has a say-so in our relationship, not going to work for me. Studio apartments. Studio apartments are weird. I do not want to hang out in your living room and bedroom and kitchen all at the same time. I just, I need some space. I need you to be able to go do your thing in one part of the house, me do something in the other part of the house. That's just how the cookie crumbles. This isn't going to be for everyone, but wearing board shorts... I like a clean, preppy, nicely dressed man who looks stylish, board shorts aren't it anymore. Unless you're out surfing or you are about to go wakeboard and it's like for protection of some kind. I don't know how that's for protection. I, I need you to look nice. And um, I'm looking nice, you look nice. Here we keep going. Can't hold his alcohol. If you get too drunk on the first date, everyone should be sticking to a first date rule of maybe two drinks, three that's too many. 
you know, when you go out and you have martinis, they're like boobs. Three is too many, two may not be enough, but you, you got to just stick to the two. It's just, it's better for everyone. No one wants a sloppy person. You should honestly not get entirely too drunk around someone for the first like three months. You should be on your best behavior. This is the interview process. I need you to be on your best behavior. And last one for now, um, unless someone decides to request number four, um, this is going to be the area of they decline a call from their mom or their sister. I think that it's really disrespectful to deny calls to really important people in your life. I get that I want your attention when we're on the date, but things like that are a little bit more important. You never know what's going on in your family, and you should definitely answer the phone for your mom or your sister. Um, if you guys want part four, we can go down that road. Um, I can't imagine that I can keep getting much more hate than I'm already getting for this list. But yeah, let me know if you want to see a part four. I don't know about you, but all what I'm hearing makes say 99.99% of what I'm hearing I say is that I want a superficial guy, a guy that is not in touch with what is happening around them. That is who I want. That's all I'm hearing. That is all I'm hearing. So yeah. You guys requested part four? So here we go, part four. I have been going over a list that I compile in my notes app on my iPhone of anything um, that a man has ever done that has given me the ick on a date. And I'm going to keep going right where I left off. So next on the list is doesn't walk on the side of the sidewalk that's closest to the street. Any gentleman should make sure that he is walking closest to the street. The woman should be inside. If a man is not doing that, I think that they're not well trained. They had no home training at all whatsoever. And that is a big ick for me. I will be done with someone no matter how good the date has been going. Next on the list, waits in line. Please don't make me go to somewhere where I'm going to have to wait in a really long line. I get if we go to a concert, something like that. But if you're going to take me to a restaurant, make sure you have a reservation. If you're going to take me to a nightclub, let's like have a table or let's have an assigned seat there. I don't want to wait in line and wait on like one person to come in in order for us to like, or one person to go out in order for us to come in. It just, it doesn't work for me. Next on the list is complaining about the price of anything he invited me to go and do. If you did not do your own research about the restaurant that we're going to and you're going to complain that the appetizers are too expensive, the drinks are too expensive, whatever the situation is, you invited me to go and do that. If you didn't do the research before and you want to complain about it, I don't want to hear about it. That's not my problem. That shows poor planning on your part. And no one wants to talk about money. That's really uncomfortable anyway. So avoid that. We're continuing right on down the road. Mean to wait staff. I can't stand that. I cannot stand someone who's rude to wait staff. If you're rude to them, it's the same way if you're rude to your mom. You're just, you have bad home training and that's just who you are as a person and you should be avoided. This next one is one of my favorites. He talks about how he almost won a state championship in high school and then gives the reason his team didn't win. First of all, it's never going to have anything to do with him. It's going to be someone else's fault. They're also going to talk about how close they got to it, and they probably are going to talk about it the rest of their lives. If almost winning a state championship in high school was the peak of their lives, run. You need to find someone else. You need someone who has like better things that have happened to them since that moment. This next one, I love, and everyone should stop doing this. When you take videos at a nightclub of the bottles coming to the table, we get it, you're at a nightclub, and I know that you're sitting at the table, and I know that that bottle was expensive, but it is such a douchey flex to post that video onto your story or even take the video that's cringeworthy like you see them like trying to like zoom in like this and make sure the lighting is good that's embarrassing you're financially irresponsible number one for buying a 400 hundred dollar bottle at a nightclub that you can buy for 35 dollars at the local liquor store but no that's that's embarrassing these videos are getting really long. I'm about to rush through these next few. Doesn't tip well. That's a red flag for anyone. No condiments in his fridge or pantry. If your house looks totally empty and you don't have things like that in there, that's like sociopath behavior. Fake glasses. I don't know why you guys are doing that. You're like doing the Dougie and stuff in those. I don't get it. Um, designer slides other than Ugg slippers. I get wanting to be comfortable around your house, but the designer slides, especially like Balenciaga or Gucci, whatever. Balenciaga was number one canceled. That's just weird. I don't like that look. It looks trashy to me. Um, 
get some Ugg slippers. That'll get you around the house just fine, and you'll stay warm. Skinny jeans, they don't look good on anyone. I don't care what anyone says. They do not look good on anyone. Has an ugly, stinky, untrained dog. Mm-mm. That's, that's just gross. Um, I don't want that dog jumping on me. I love my dog. He's well-trained. Train yours. Finally, the last thing, if you guys want me to make a part five, I will. Follows Dan Bilzerian on the social media that we're not supposed to talk about on this app. I think that that guy's pretty disgusting. And he, if he follows that person, he's probably also following a bunch of models who also don't follow him back. And to me, that's just strange. And I don't like that behavior. And I've already stated that in the last video. So yeah, if you guys want part five, let me know. Having listened to all of Meg's four lists, as a woman, the list does not make sense to me. And I'm speaking as a girl. I do not understand. Only about maybe like 0.5% makes sense to me. In fact, maybe like 0.005% makes sense to me. The rest, I do not understand. So in other words, I don't even, I don't even, like I'm trying to understand. How does it then mean that you don't, you don't like people Especially when you can't stand them because all these things she, she's mentioning, she's bound to find find one in one person. Do you get? So how she how she able to cope in her dating life? Because apparently she's not married. She's still dating. She has not. She's still single. So how she how how is she able to date? Or is she looking for men that will pretend to be good? I don't know. I'm just asking. But I would love to hear from you guys. What's your take on 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 this?